What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. Good early afternoon from Canada, 12 18 p.m. here on a beautiful Thursday. We're going to go over our friend Bitcoin, currently sitting at uh, 19,479, down 0.8 on the day. Sitting at Mark Kappa, 368. 24 hour volume 43.68 billion let's hop straight into the chart so we've seen a beautiful rejection off our wave two rejection zone uh, potentially you could still put in a, a b c but we've been rejected by the golden ratio which is a typical rejection for a wave two and now we can focus coming down in a wave three all the way down to about 16.8 k i'm gonna allow this to mature a little bit here before starting to count the subwaves, because as I mentioned, you could still put in an ABC. Um, because if I start counting the subwaves, you could look at like a one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and that's a one. And then, you know, micro counting is inaccurate at times. So I'm just going to let it mature to see if we put in an ABC or if we just see continuation down um to 16.8k but either way i do think you'll see the continuation to the downside currently we're making some juicy profits with our bitcoin short position uh, we had a perfect entry right up here i think i entered at 20.2k and i gave a signal i had multiple entries of course for the wave two pullback zone but um i gave a signal in the discord so currently we're making some juicy profits hoping to ride it down here um to create new lows and my take profit levels are down here 17.6 and 16.3 for btc so if we pop over to our next chart and you can access those signals for 10 bucks a month you can sign up through the patreon if you'd like to no pressure though <laughs> um let me give me my cleaner chart right here so um we had a perfect rejection off that down sloping trend line at 20.3 exactly as i predicted as um carl the moon always likes to say <laughs> and um i do think we could see a retest of that trend line so what happens here is we come down and maybe we complete that move if i pop over in this chart here we complete that move down to about 16.5 we see a pullback and then we put in a wave five so we come down here this is the wrong chart we come down to that 16.5k level which is boom we would actually break down that went a little bit too far we would actually break down from this um down sloping trend line of support which i do think is likely 16.5 come back up for a wave four probably get rejected off that trend line put in a wave five and that's when you could come all the way back up and potentially retest this trend line just let me make sure that that would be correct here um so we would put in a one two three four five yeah so potentially what i would be looking at is that this was your wave one this was your larger wave two in blue so we're starting to come down in a wave three which is actually all the way down here at about 12.7k yeah so we may not even retest that trend line until we bottom out around 11 to 13k um, because it just doesn't seem to line up with the wave count here for us to come all the way back up to about 19.1 of course anything is possible but it looks like our wave count would would not be valid for us to come all the way back up and test that trend line but we have been rejected from that trend line multiple times um, so i wouldn't be surprised to see us start to break down here come down and fill this wick and come down to your next strong level support in between 11 to 13k now of course anything can happen in the crypto space so if we were to bounce here and validate that wave count then i would be looking for a rejection once again off that trend line before seeing continuation down but i don't think it's likely that that wave count gets invalidated it's looking pretty strong in my opinion if i zoom out on the four hour that this was a wave four pullback and now you're starting to come down in your final wave five so you can see this wave one here in white let me yeah it's right here so we've come down this is a wave one here's your wave two pullback and now you're starting to come down in the wave three and of course there are sub waves within the wave three which are marked here in blue so this is a wave one wave two pullback and now you're looking to come down in that wave three wave four wave five to complete the wave three you see a wave four pullback and a final wave five that probably is going to take you down to about 11k because as you as i showed you guys yesterday if we open up the volume range indicator you can see that that next really strong level of volumes actually at about 11 11.7k so that's where i do think price will come down to is that 11k mark because as i mentioned previously sorry we have to zoom out here 
as I mentioned previously, once we come down and lose that wick low at 17K, there's not much volume. The next strong level of volume where we had a lot of trading is down at 11.8K. And that's the range I think you'll bottom out in between 11 and about 11.8. Yes, we could bottom out here, but as you can see, the strong trading volume is coming in at about 11.8K for our friend BTC. Do you want me to say 11.8K one more time? No? Okay, I won't. <laughs> Actually, I might, but I'll try not to. So uh, this is the DXY. My jokes are absolutely the worst. This is the DXY. We had a higher high while creating a lower high on the RSI. I did talk about the DXY coming down. Um, now it could come lower. Currently we're finding support on the 1.618 with our Fibonacci pulled from the previous high, which was all the way back right here at, in March of 2020. And I pulled it all the way down to the bottom and we have a 1.618 extension. So usually you will see some pullback, not always. What I think is gonna happen is you're gonna see a little bit of pullback um, possibly find support here and then come up and put in a double top before coming down. So what, in between 112 and about 109, I think the DXY will find support once again and continue to push all the way up to the two and most likely the 2.272 as well if Bitcoin's gonna come all the way down to 11 to 13K. That's what I'm looking at here for the DXY, but we are overextended and I did say we should see some pullback and that's what we're starting to see here. So as you can see with the DXY, when we get really overbought, you see some pullback right here. We're really overbought. We saw a pullback right here. We're overbought on the daily pullback. So once again, we're overbought on the daily. We're seeing that pullback. But as you can see, continuation, continuation, continuation to the upside for the DXY. And I do think it will continue here, um, bringing Bitcoin down to about 11 to 13K. Let's see if we actually have, if we scroll back, if we have support around these levels. Yeah, it looks like we do. Yeah, it looks like we do because I've dropped in this yellow box. So we have to scroll all the way back here to 2001. Wow. <laughs> you can see where we topped out here in 2001, triple top, and that's when we started to break down. So it would make sense um, for the DXY once again to top out in that range in between 118 and 123. It's beautiful to live in Canada right now because all my money is made in US dollar from YouTube, from trading, from affiliate links, and I, I transfer it to Canadian dollar. And I make like, I think it's like 32 cents on the dollar right now. So I've been transferring a lot of USD to Canadian. Um, but I, not too much because I don't trust money in the banks. I don't trust the banks. I don't trust mainstream media. I don't trust the banks. I'm one of those guys. So <laughs> maybe, I was, maybe that's an overshare, but oh well. Anyways, guys, I don't want to just keep rambling here. So um, in the short term, we've seen a nice rejection. Our Elliott Wave has been playing out to a T here. Just got to turn off my volume indicator. Um, so if we do continue to break down, then I would expect 16.8K. Of course, it will take time to get there. So uh, if we do see continuation, we break this low, then I'll start counting the sub waves. Um, but I do think we'll see continuation to the downside. There could be an ABC correction, of course, that could push you up to the 0.786 at 19.9K. Um, that's why I don't like micro counting because people will be like, yeah, that's a three way move, but it's more of a, it looks like a one, two, one, two, three. So yeah, micro counting can lead you astray. So basically I'd wait to see if we push up and start to break that high, then you'd have to look at an ABC. Now to invalidate all of this, which I don't think is likely, you have to come up and break about 20.3K, which is where we entered our short position. All right, guys, big shout out to the Discord. You can actually get free access um, to all the chat rooms, but the analysis and my trade signals are $10 a month. I do post my analysis early. I'll show you guys my Bitcoin short position that we're currently making profits on. We currently locked in or recently locked in profits on Ethereum. Everything else is free. The chat rooms are free. We have over 2000 members posting chart patterns, talking all things crypto. If you sign up to Bybit, email me or sign up email, I will send you a link so you can gain access to the Discord for free. And then uh, my signals are 10 bucks a month, but there's a lot of value in here um, with uh, what these guys are posting, all right? So that's it for this one. Check out my full length tutorial on Bybit, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, much love. Take care. Mm -hmm.